All right, four straight years. They were shut out of the playoffs, and this year they lost five straight. But they won when it counted. The Chesapeake Bayhawks are your Major League Lacrosse champions. Like Congratulations. Brendan thanks, Keller, thanks. who owns the team and also is the coach of the team. And here's Spencer Ford, the GM, and Kyle. Kyle's a local kid. He's the MVP. Way to go. Now, you grew up. You went to Curley. Yeah. All right. And then you went to Essex. You won there. Yes. And then you went to Salisbury. And, of course, everybody wins at Salisbury. That's yes. Right. And now look what you do. Yeah. I mean, it was a phenomenal weekend. Um, an unreal year for me, actually. Uh, this year I played indoor out in Seattle and actually won the world title um, a couple months back. So this is just awesome this year. So. Man, oh, man. Sp let me ask you, as a general manager, isn't it neat when you're not expected to win and you win? Isn't that the best part of it all in sports? It was a uh, unbelievable feeling to do what we did. I don't know if we could change a thing, even the five-game losing streak. Just made it all the, all the more better. Okay, and Brenda, you made that move, man. Yeah, it was, you uh, made that it was move. dangerous. But wow. it worked out. So, no, it worked out. You know, like, again, I said this before, I think, on the show. A lot of the, a lot of the kids have played for me before, and I think that the, uh, the big difference was, you know, the guys committed to each other. And, uh, you know. Wait, let me ask you, when did you notice the turnaround? Um, well, when we took over and made a change, I mean, obviously, the, the, you know, we went on a four-game winning streak to win the whole thing. So, I think that was the turnaround. <laughs> but it wasn't specifically just me. I think it was my commitment to the guys. Uh, they're committing to each other. And really playing for each other and handling that adversity. And when we were supposed to be out and done, yeah. you know, these guys turned around and ended up holding the cup up on Sunday afternoon, which we were the underdogs by, I think we were picked by like 8% to win the public, to win the whole thing. And Kyle, on the so. field, for the players, when did you feel, hey, you know what, we got a chance here? Uh, beginning of the weekend, I mean, we knew we had a chance all week. We have a phenomenal roster, and BK and Spencer did a great job putting the team together this year. So, I mean, all, I think everybody on the team knew we were going to come this weekend and show what we had, show what we had to do. And, uh, I think uh, fourth quarter when it set in, uh, when we were up by four goals, I think it that, that set in then. When you hoisted that trophy, what did it feel like for you, Spence? It was great. It's been, been what, 20-some years, 30-some years that I could ever win anything, and this is the first one as a, as a champion, so it was pretty cool. And, Brandon, as a, come on, this is a dream season for you. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And then getting in, uh, you know, also bringing in Coach Cottle was a big deal for Mel. And, you know, he was... Uh, he was really important in our win, too, X's and O's guy. And it was great to see him get a championship, too, and, and uh, John Liam and Jay McNeely. So, I mean, it's a great group of guys to be around. You know, we had a clinic yesterday, and all the players are still there and high five and still really enjoying the moment, which is great. And that's what it's all about. Now, so. I just ask, this is called the Steinfeld Trophy, not Seinfeld, the Steinfeld. <laughs> and uh, it's named after the president of the league, right? Right. Jake Steinfeld was the founder of the league. It was his vision, his idea 10 years ago to launch this league. And uh, Tell me where this trophy this, was, uh, if you can. Where it was before this. <laughs> Oh, no, no, I mean, last week. Yeah, last yeah. week. Uh, it, it's, seen, it's seen a few uh, restaurants, some bars, some sponsors, and uh, got a lot the guys of fingerprints got, yeah, on it. I'll tell you, a lot of fingerprints. We actually had a, did a parade on Sunday night a, after that downtown Annapolis and through Eastport and uh, visited oh, a couple man. of fine establishments down there and behaved ourselves. So that's great. Good. Well, congratulations, to all you should thank be very you, proud you. of the Chesapeake Bayhawks. The Baltimore Bayhawks are also on Correct. this. Correct. 02 and 05. So right. it was good to make the alumni proud. So we were now excited you, about that. You know, you, you got the pressure now for next year. I do. Year. I do. I repeat, repeat, repeat. We're ready for that. All right. Thanks, guys. Congratulations. Thank Chesapeake you. Bayhawks champions. Megan.